I was injured in 1999, yeah, had too much to drink. I leaned over the stairway railing and I'm not sure if I passed out or if I fell over or if I just lost my balance, but the, what happened was I ended up falling straight down 23 feet and I landed on the second floor landing. I suffered a paralysis at the at T7 and T8. I shattered the vertebrae there, punctured lung, broken ribs, a traumatic brain injury, and um, a, like a really scary time. I was just scared to live with this disability. I didn't want to, you know, I was in denial and um, I just kind of thought it, I would get better, maybe, you know, walk again, and, but that unfortunately wasn't my reality and it, because of that I was, I was really depressed, you know, for a long time. Some of my specific fears were just being able to participate in some of the things that I've always loved to do physically and active wise and um, traveling. And then I'd say the, at the time, the biggest fear was just to, who was going to love me. You know, I didn't know if um, I was going to be able to, you know, find someone to love me. And that was, that was really, uh, that was really hard. About four years, or maybe three to four years after I got injured, I um, got in touch with some people in, in wheelchairs that were more, you know, that I was always using as a mentor. Uh, people like Jim Cesario um, introduced me to other people my age, like uh, April Coughlin and George Gallego, and they were really in, they were, not only were they involved with athletics, they were also involved with the chapter. And so I started working closely with them as they were teaching me how to, uh, to ride bikes and swim and be, be in a racing chair for a triathlon. And at the same time, I saw that they were involved with a lot of uh, volunteer work for the community and I wanted, to, I, I wanted to be like them. And I eventually became a board member. And in 2014, I became the president of the New York City chapter of the United Spinal Association. The United Spinal Association has been a big support to anybody in a wheelchair um, all, all throughout the country, including me. And when I was able to start meeting some of the leaders in this organization, I was able to not only find someone to, like, as a mentor to me, but also I was able to see like, a positive role model that had like, a standard of, of life that I, I was striving to create for myself. And being associated with positive people really helped me move forward and you know give me inspiration to work on the different goals that I had throughout my life and I can say I'm, I'm proud to say that you know I've accomplished a lot with their help and I now hope to provide inspiration to younger members who are newly injured just like the uh, the leaders did for me when I was newly injured <laughs>